Hi, this is Rob Higby from cdkegwasher.com. Today, I'm making a short video describing the features of a two-head semi-automatic keg washer. The unit has an Allen Bradley PLC with a fully functional touchscreen. It's got stainless steel construction on lockable wheels. There's a temperature controlled 25 gallon caustic tank with level control. There's a chemical injector for your sanitizer and it sets the final CO2 pressure and that final pressure is adjustable. The requirements in your facility are 208 to 240 volts AC single phase 30 amps. Uh, it requires compressed air at 80 PSI 12 CFM. CO2 requirements are uh, 20 PSI with a 3 8 line. It needs caustic material, cold or hot water for your rinse cycle, cold or hot water for your sanitizer cycle. It requires sanitizer material and a drain connection. Before you can run your first cycle, you'll need to turn the control power on. The unit will not operate without water in the caustic tank. You'll need to fill the caustic tank. From the main screen, select manual mode. Go to the manual mode screen. Turn on the caustic valve. Turn on the water valve. Watch the sight tube until the tank is full. Then turn the valves off. This filling method primes the pump. Possible faults that prevent operation are caustic level low, motor overload, power not on. If any of these faults exist, they must be cleared before you can run a cycle. Turn the power on ahead of time, then enable the temperature control. When the preset temperature has been reached, the system is ready to run your first cycle. To run a sequence, first you would load two similar kegs. Then you would select one sixth keg from the touchscreen. Then you would go to the one sixth keg sequence screen. The column of text on the left side of the sequence schedule describes the valves that operate during that step. There are 17 steps to a sequence. Each step of the sequence has a default value installed that can be recalled by pressing the Restore Defaults button. Press the Cycle Start Push button. This button is hardwired to the door of the main enclosure. This is not a function of the touchscreen because over time repeated use can damage it. We all know what an inconvenience it is to replace a touchscreen. First time operating, you will watch the time increment for each step, listening to confirm that the liquid has evacuated from both kegs. Each step of the sequence can be made longer or shorter. This lets you optimize the sequence for your keg conditions, compensating for variations in compressed air, CO2, and water pressures and volumes. The final step of the sequence pressurizes the keg with CO2. This final pressure timing is also adjustable from the touchscreen. Other services include manually operated units, converting manual units to semi-automatic, any manufacturer, building custom units, building motor and temperature control panels, automated valve and motor control panels, pump carts, and custom projects.
please feel free to contact me with any questions you may have at cdkegwasher.com. Thank you for watching.